Hello and welcome to uh, another scenario from Train Simulator 2020. I forgot what was going on with that. Where um, today we're going to be taking a Intercity 90 slash Mark III set from Palmaldi Depot to Glasgow Central and then run all the way down to Carlisle. So you can see here we're going to be we're starting at two minutes past five anyway, so we're going to be running very late 1700 service. From the Armstrong Powerhouse Collection, uh, this has been made possible by your kind and very generous donations made to the channel. So uh, that really is greatly appreciated. If you would like to help support the channel like so many have done, then you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. Additionally, if you have any route recommendations or trains you would like to see me drive, please do let me know and I shall see what I can do for you. Right. Yep, come on, come on, come on. Right, so, have a little cheeky peek. 82109 is, blimey, pardon me. Is our uh, as our lead? Well, it's going to be our lead, but for the moment we'll act as the tail. There we go. Right now I'm in here. So what I'm going to want to do is okay. That's now on. My parking brake is off. Excellent. Okay. Insert the, the, uh, the master key. Job should be good. Right, pantograph. Have we actually got that yet? Or did I not insert the master key long enough? We shall find out. There we go. We have life in the pantograph. Okay, right. Yes, thank you. There we go. Power is in. Acknowledge the dead man switch, otherwise I'm going to be into all manner of problems. Right, so we're going to want to do them with that. We're also going to want to go back in here. Turn them on. No, back on you stupid thing. Right, so then we're going to take that off. Just release the brakes. And uh, start on our start on our journey. Hello driver, that's not wasting time then. When you're ready, make sure to get on your way to Glasgow Central. Do make sure the parking brake is off before moving. Yes, I will. That can stop. Whoops, wrong way. It doesn't help when you've got uh, little bits of hint trying to come up, which uh, doesn't really help all that much. Then you've got the dead man switch that's uh, trying to throw you while wobbling. It's like... Arr, arr, arr. Okay, right. Thank you. Yes, I can't spend too long outside the cab uh, for these. It's um, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a problem. Because obviously, with the uh, driver vigilance kicking in every now and again, it's going to make things just a little bit more difficult.
bizarrely, we've got people on board, even though we were starting off in a depot. So, uh, there's a thing. to keep just flicking between the two now there's been a bit of a gap between uh, the switch being flicked and everything else so you never know like that we can now do 75 miles an hour yeah you got 30 coming up chief well in this case we'll have to shunt that off won't we? let's go to uh, just graduated self uh, lap just to slow down sufficiently Get done for inappropriate hornage, but there we are. And the, the the railway term is hornage. Don't let these don't let them tell you otherwise. It is what it is. So we can't sit in the Mark 3s. Not too much of a problem. Oh. Yep. <sighs> too much time spent outside. This scenario does punish you if you don't sit inside the cab when you're supposed to. Come on, girl. Session at the back in 82109 will be our home for the bulk of this journey once we leave Glasgow. Right, before I do uh, carry on, I want instrument lights to bright, clipboard to dim, that will come down, that's fine, that's fine, don't need to worry about any of that, so that's all fine and dandy, okay, good. Shut off. Bring that down, so we're doing uh, 20 miles an hour. We've got three 18 to 30 about to pass us. I'm certain. Oh, look, there's some more sets in front of us. Yeah, 50 mile an hour. Thought so. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Too much time spent outside. Of... Oh, okay. Right. Right, do that. 
clunk that down. Right. Okay. Lots of Tron and error throughout this. So far, mostly error. What do we have here? 156475 about to pass us. Yeah, it would have been 1711 had I not have uh, made a complete hash of things. Snake in the Mark III's in. The 318 leaving. Ooh, that's going to get tight. Ooh. How tight was that? <laughs> oh, I love it. I thought, look at the chaotic scenes here at Glasgow Central. Oh, how the times have changed. Right, anyway. Shut it. So, marker lights off, them off, tail lights on. Ugh, wretched thing. Well, we've got, we've got a bit of time to kill here anyway, so let's just make sure that uh, everything else will be fine. Slightly perplexed by that. I must admit. There we go. Nope, oh, got some more 156s coming in. Shut up. So what I do need to now do. This is I need to be I need to be up here. So I'll tell you what actually I'm doing stuff, I've turned everything else on there when I yes. So that's to dim. That's to bright. Tail lights are off. Marker lights are on. On, you wretched thing. Okay, there we go, we're in there. There's some more noises. Plenty of comings and goings here at Glasgow Central. Just turn that off. Ooh, now that's on the go. Very good. Right, Roger, over, port departure north, please save and reload to ensure the scenario runs properly from here on out. Really? 
Please save and re You really want me to save and reload it? No, do you know what? I'm just going to go... What's it? Uh... Um, nah, do you know what? It's fine. Oh yeah, did I? No, the pocket break is off. Now, I'm not going to... Shut up. I'm not going to worry about um, trying to save and reload. I'm just going to... We're going to chance it. If it fails, then... Well, that's it. It fails. We'll just... Uh, what you're going to be watching is going to be whatever I record. I completely trust it. So we've got Motherwell as our first stop in 12 miles. We'll just pretend like that's not a thing. Okay, so ETS is fine. Oh, hello. There is a 90 of all things. 90.025. What are you doing here? I don't know, but uh, let's just make sure that everything else is all fine. Shut off, otherwise I'm going to get into trouble for spedding. What have we got here? Is there anything I can fiddle with? Nope. Is there anything above me I can fiddle with? Delicate windscreen finish, clean and with type edit. Yeah, I'm not interested. Whoops, speeding again. Wait, how can I? I'm not. What's your problem? You're, gi you're, you're giving me dodgy warnings here, Chief. Definitely don't want the emergency brake. Right, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, ba, da, ba, da. I think we're golden. Just acknowledge that. Otherwise, I get into Trubel. Be interesting to see what we pass on this scenario. I'm actually, I'm curious to see if this scenario is actually going to fully work. I'm just slightly worried that uh, it says save and reload, but I'm going to go against that. Uh, go against that, and we're just going to go from there, really.
So just as I said at the top of the show, we'll see where we get. Nice. Zero fourteen is giving us a good shove. Now, I'm sure that uh... shut up. Right, let's have the. Set speed at 75. Okay, we're going to go past the depot where we just were. So like the sleeper stock there, or at least part of it. Seventy three point nine, all right now seventy four. It's cool, it's fine. Josh. Once we get to 80, I'll then uh, up the speed again. Oh, hello, HST. Waiting at the signals. Just zoom out a wee bit. There we are. Well, a 90 approaching, then uh, basically start working away towards the speeds that uh, that we all know and love. I completely agree with you. Now I don't know if well, I'm going to find out what happens in neutral sections because they don't appear on here so it'll be curious. Doesn't really give much information in here to be fair but there we go. Well, up to 90 so it looks like Josh. Just like neutral sections don't actually affect me much on uh, in, in here, so that's not all bad. So now I've done that, we can nip out here to wherever here is. Take that corner of fair old lick. Under six miles to go before we hit Motherwell. It's all looking good so far. The 
appears neutral sections don't appear to affect us on this journey, so uh, we're all fine and dandy. It's interesting that apparently train faults are active, so it'll be interesting to see what the train faults are going to be. And if they are, how the bleed now am I supposed to uh, work with them? Next station for us to go and have a little uh, cheeky peek at. Oh, hello, we've got a train down here. Bye, 318, bye, 318. My real worry is, is when I go outside to get a photo and then the dead man's pedal starts going up. It's like, beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, no, quickly, ah, problem. And then it's going, Pfft. That's the noise it would make. We'll go, Pfft. after going, Pfft. at me, like a madman. and peaceful in the, in the DVT. Outside, however, different kettle of fish. Three, oh, well, three and a bit miles to go. Window placements. Amazing. Can you see what's to the side of you? Not really. We've got an 80 limit coming up in over a mile and a half. Now with the 91, we did this. Will that do the same? Yes, in a matter it will actually all work wonderfully. However, we will start slowing down a mile and a bit out. I don't really know how good the braking is at this train from speed, at least the Armstrong powerhouse version, along with the fact that I've got some signals that are apparently against me, so we need to really ensure that we stop sufficiently, so um, this could be problematic. Actually, no, let's just keep slowing down sufficiently. Otherwise, I could be in for a world of... Whoa! Okay. Do you want to just, like, not do that, Chief? Okay, signals are changing in our favour, so... Wait, 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 wait! Madman. I ju wait, do you, do you know what? Forget it. It's fine. It's good. It's absolutely fine. Interesting how the signals were were for me then, but there we go. I've never filmed at Motherwell. It really should, it's a station I should go to.
Yeah, so here we are at uh, Motherwell. Back to my Tim, please mind that horrendous gap between the train and the platform edge. Good lord. So we have plenty of room to play with. So I went to the emergency brake anyway, but I'm at a station, so you know. Thank you, guard. <laughs> that's your problem you see that's uh, that's what you get for trying to be clever well we're going to have an 89 mile run to Carlisle hopefully after this particular problem we're going to be uh, we're going to be laughing Hold on, we appear to be going backwards. Hold on, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Am I in the cab of the... Where am I? Yeah, hold on, I am in the cab of the DVC, so what should... What's your problem here? There we go. That was a bit weird. Right, we'll just give it a bootful. That's fine, and that's fine. Okay, well, there we are. Right, speedometer set to 95. And uh, away we go. That was a that was a weird moment, but there we go. Hello, I acknowledged you. Okay, so right, I don't know where we're going to be passing, passing, passing. I haven't been drinking, I've been having a coffee, so if anything, my vocal presentation should be better. So let's just straight run to Carlisle. That's cool. Drop that to 90. I suppose... Well, probably not, but I just wonder, is there any way I don't think I can. I acknowledged you. No, there isn't. Something as well, I could almost like shut that thing off, but uh, oh well. It's the Royal Mail Sorting Office. I don't think there's anything in there at the moment. 
Mm, nope. We sure south up main is where we're passing through next. Or at least the track marker anyway. Might as well just force the train to no mind. Might as well just force the train to slow to sixty. Got a mile and a half, so might as well slow down sufficiently for that anyway. Yes, thank you. Got the warning. But thanks to that of wiz witchcraft and wizardry, you can shut up. That uh, I know what's coming up. Who needs to know? Who, who needs root knowledge when you have a HUD? Everyone knows in real life that you have a HUD when you're on a, when you're driving a train. Yeah, it just it's just there. If any train operating companies saw how I drive trains in this, they, they think, my God, we're not giving this man a job. I assure you, in real life, I would be much, much better. I promise. It's 60 through here. I'm going to find out in a moment. Oh, might be for this because I'm rejoining the West Coast. Well, I'm not rejoining, I'm already on it, but it's just a, another junction of it. Or is it because of the corner? It must be. So I'll just stick that straight up to 95. Ah, oh, you're waiting for me. Good man. I think I'm going to have to try and abandon screenshots whilst we're on the move. I'm about to get screenshots when we get to certain stations, but considering we're getting to Carlisle and stopping, uh, screenshots are going to be quite limited, so I can only try my best. Because ultimately, I've got to try and get a thumbnail for this. Law up main. Excellent. So supposedly the Mark III DVT is capable of 150. Sure, I'll believe that. So I wonder where the trains we're going to pass on our journey then. Obviously we've had 318s, we've had HSTs, 156s. We've had um, one of the Rail Freight Livery Class 90s. So I wonder why that was heading up to uh, Glasgow. Oh, I know why, because it was, yeah, I was picking up that failed set at Glasgow, Dorp. And then taking it back to Palmardi, of course. It makes sense when you think about it logically. Yes, I know, but you were trying to apply logic to a scenario. Yeah, well, it's not uh, beyond the realms of possibility. True. Let's put a brick down there. That'll stop it from going off.
Most of all, I do like scenarios where it sort of keeps you on your toes with the dead man switch, so you can't you can't spend too long just sort of disappearing hither and yonder. You've got to really uh, keep your eye on the ball. No, same thing. That was close. We're going to completely ignore the fact that in the attempt to take a screenshot, I actually just shut the reverser into neutral. Cows. We're going to we'll gloss over that. Oh, 100 limit coming up. Excellent. Very windy, isn't it? Very windy route. But excellent nonetheless. Okay, so it's currently six minutes past seven, five, my local time. So uh, let's see what the time is when that comes back off again, because that then gives me an indication of what, how long I have to play with between times. Oh, another 90. Yeah, it's now up to 100. Nice cruising speed. 77 miles to go. So it's every minute then. It's fine. Let's sit at the level crossing. And we're up on one. What a pointless stretch of 100 mile, not hey, 100 mile an hour running. And then drops to 90. Well, at least it's gradual, so that's better than nothing, I suppose. Be interesting to see if we pass any freight on our journey, I suppose. I said, I said, blah, 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 I seem to be saying suppose a lot. It's, uh, it's almost like the, the word of the day. Straight back to 100 mile power and running. All right, okay. Well, each to the right, I guess. Back to 90. It's a little bit bumpy. So what's through here then? There's a road with a bus and some cars. A couple of excavators. Oh, is this um, is this Carstairs? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Now, 
I hit the dead man switch and I was outside of the cab on the off chance that something was happening, so, <laughs> you know. Okay, 100 mile an hour, and then we're going to be hitting 110, so, uh, really, once we've hit the 100, right, let's set that to the limit. And away we go. There's the 110. 71 miles to go. Okay, we're going back to 100. Fine. Not a bad view, is it? That's actually quite an abrupt turn. Through leafy suburbia. All in all, quite a nice sort of journey so far. A movement in the Mark III, but nothing that's too bad. Passengers in first class will be tucking into their complimentary meals and everything else. Mm. 
Nyoing. That's pretty cool. The old bill, our chief. The best livery that ever went on these trains by a country mile. Oh, 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 God, oh, that's horrible. Jesus, what's happening here? My Lord, that's some, uh, Ooh, that's horrible. That was some serious vibrations we were going on then. That was uh that was not what the doctor ordered. Just open one again. Now, there we are. Abington up main is uh, where we're passing next. Here's a gorgeous area to go to. It's by far and away my favourite section of the West Coast Main Line is in between Lancaster and Glasgow, without a shadow of a doubt. Especially going between Lancaster and Carlisle. That bit is just, it's bloody beautiful. The East Coast Main Line has that section between Newcastle, Berwick and Edinburgh Waverley, the West Coast, has got the uh, has got the Pennines, specifically going through Cumbria. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we've got fifty-seven and a bit miles to go.
It's a very, very nice run so far. Yeah, the 90 is doing all of the work, but uh, ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Should kick off in a sec. There we go. What's underneath the M6? neutral section here any second now okay lovely There is the right away. What mode to edit that? Did I say that was the M6? I'm sure that was the M6. I might have said something different, but uh, I'm sure that was the M6. Job of Village will probably kick off in a minute. There she is. Getting more used to the pattern. Hey, look, airplane. So cool. Oh, hello. What's that? 96? Forty nine miles to go. Bouncing over a junction. And I don't want to be careful with that speed. Oh, never mind. So just like having a speed up, having a speed limit on that does make much of a difference.
But as soon as we was going downhill, I might as well just uh, run that off. But it appears that uh, the train has other ideas. Okay, well. A wee bit of braking never hurt. Okay, we'll just have to ride the brakes, I think. That's what we can do at the moment. A sharp little gradient we've got going on here, isn't it? Is that a train coast at this stage? That's a fair amount of movement we're going on there. We are rattling through these corners. Mind you, going downhill and having a cruise control set on there probably doesn't actually work all that well because you've got a lot of train. Still good fun though. So, 41.2 miles to go. There isn't too much chatting going on because uh, at this stage there isn't too much to chat about. Keep looking over there. I'm expecting something to change. Don't know what though. Okay, Beatok up main is our next little point we're passing through.
as far as views go, this one ain't bad. Bit of a violent curve. We've got a nice hundred and ten limit popping up. See how long this lasts for. I was warning me of a neutral section will be approaching, but seeing as the neutral sections don't apply to this scenario, I'm not concerned. Here it is. They're very bumpy in here. I'm sure this is getting dirtier. Just casually thundering along the West Coast Main Line. Thirty three miles to go. According to this, just over twenty minutes worth of journey time remaining. It had to be done. Well, aside from getting the initial cab setup going and uh, just trying to remember to stay in the cab for acknowledging the uh, driver warnings like that. It's been a relatively easy running so far. 
very enjoyable, very peaceful. And for a nice wooded area. Oh, so we've got another train coming down. Looks like a HST. That sounded nice. Just see what kind of light it's like upon our arrival. After this, I'm going to be taking a Caledonian sleeper from uh, Carlisle to Glasgow Central. This is Lockerbie, is it? Jolly good. Nice little crossing. Plenty of sheep to be seen. Uh, cows and sheep. Got two of them. More cows! Hooray! And sheep. Hooray! Under the M6 once more. If we hop back into the cab at around 18.35, then the driver warning should be going off.
neutral section. Okay, so it's under 20 miles to go before we hit Carlisle. Oi. Oi. Thank you. Do love that. Acknowledge. Nope. Acknowledge. Nope. How about a third time? There we are. Boxy bleeding thing. As a bus, jolly good show. I've just noticed a coffee stain. <laughs> Attention to detail. The curves are a bit aggressive around here. Just the once this time around, sir. Oh, we've got a nice 110 for the final push into Carlisle. We're too kind. Yep, stay there, people. Thank you very much. That is most kind. Into the motorway once more. Oh, okay. Well, it's pointless. Of 
Quinton Sill up Main is the next area that we pass through. May as well not give me the 110 because you've got my hopes up. Oh, hello. Who have we got passing here then? It's a freight train of some description. Interesting. Train to Rowan due to an AI collision in the 1920 Brighton to Edinburgh, the Sussex Scott. Collided with the Bournemouth to Edinburgh, Wessex Scott. Interesting. Maybe that was the problem they told me about. Well, there we go. That'll, uh, that'll be that one. Wasn't ideal. Um, I very much doubt that would have been the problem, but that's just an AI having a moment bizarrely but there we are so uh right that was that wasn't really the way i was expecting it to go but what can we do uh i want to go standard i will probably go and redo that in my own time and i might do the save and reload uh just to see if it actually does make any difference if it does i'll be sure to let you know in a later video but uh, next, we're going to be going from Carlisle to Glasgow Central with the first Scott Rail Class 90 with the color with the with the blah 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 blah, blah, blah hey, hey wowzers with the uh, Caledonian sleeper. So uh, that'll be next, and uh, then we're going to be doing uh, this one here from again Carlisle to Glasgow Central uh, with two Class 90s, a Virgin Trains of Reed 90 hauling a failed Intercity Livery Class 90. So those will be the next ones. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be doing Sunday Madness and HST. And then we'll probably do one of the express mail trains. So thank you all very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.